you know, and ultimately there's, it's funny because we were at the beginning of a, of a, of a proprietary study at K-State where they were trying to develop a new um, compound. And, you know, you sit there and, and being an academic, you're like, oh, I want this done in like two years. Five years is like long, long for me, I guess, in my mind. And they're like, yeah, this probably the time this gets approved by FDA and it goes through all the uh, safety protocols and you prove that it, it doesn't cause any harm to the animal, number one. But then also anybody that eats offspring or anything else from it um, or even eats the animal that they won't have any issues. They're like, it'll be like. 15, 20 years before that even gets approved. And so I don't think a lot of people understand the amount of rigor that it takes to get, you know, compounds for feed additives approved. And like like we're doing right now where we're feeding basically vitamin B3, but it just has a different name. And eventually if this product takes off, it's going to have to go through that process of five, four years, something yeah, like that with FDA. to be approved. Yeah, with FDA and to be approved as a as an animal additive even though it is approved for human consumption right now. And so it's just very interesting. And I don't think a lot of people understand the amount of rigor that goes into that because it, it is, it takes a long time. And that's something that 